here would be a perfect spot to get oysters. Look at this guy, I just found him. We're about to move. Here's a look at this chart that they left us. coming with us on a road trip across the country, but it's time for us to get back on the water. Over the next few weeks, we're gonna bring you with us as we sail, explore, and enjoy getting back to boat life in the San Juan Islands. These videos are made possible by San Juan Sailing, our amazing patrons, and you. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the fun. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> so in case you missed the past couple videos, yes, we are back on a boat. And we are currently in Washington sailing the San Juan Islands. So we're chartering this boat. It's a Sea Wind 1160, very similar to the boat we're getting built at the moment. Feels so good to be back on a boat. We are back, baby. <laughs> it's the first time we've ever been here before. Honestly, I don't really know much about this area at all until you started researching this. And I've only known about it for, I guess, a couple years now. One of our, one of my best friend's neighbors had ended up moving over here and was posting pictures on Instagram. And I, I was like in love. And I was like, at some point we need to go there. We need to go there. And I started begging Billy. And I don't think you'd ever heard about it until then. And yeah, I didn't know that. Like I knew Pacific Northwest obviously like as a region but I didn't know about cruising in this area I thought for the most part the coast was extremely barren but then once you started talking about it and then we talked to my dad's friend Gary who lives in this area and he was telling us all about it and all about even the inside passage which goes all the way up to Alaska through Alaska so I was like oh wow there's a lot of sheltered cruising grounds in the Pacific Northwest yeah and we're the San Juan Islands is a group of islands and they're all different like uh, elevations and like some ha are just state parks, some have towns, some have this. It's it's like it's very diverse. It reminds us of New England except in the Pacific Northwest, but still so different and so new and it reminds me of the Bahamas in terms of like so many different islands to be able to sail to and anchor off of and explore, but yeah, like New England in terms of landscape and climate and stuff. Except there's one thing that's different about any place we've been. There are lots of orcas around here and at some point before we leave, we must see them. <laughs> um, and so seals too. We saw a bunch of seals yeah. while we were sailing yesterday. Right now we're on a mooring off of one of the islands, one of the top rated islands called Susia, Susia. One of those, yeah. One of those, yeah. <laughs> We're so bad at pronouncing things. There's a lot of state parks around here. This is one of the state park areas and there's lots of trails. So we're gonna go hike around, explore the beach and walk jetty. And then I think we're gonna hop back on the boat and go sail to another island because there's so many around here. We only have six days now. So we have to make the most of it and go find some new places to explore. To be completely honest with you, we are already blown away. Like yesterday was just like, it was mind beautiful. blowing. It was the how... perfect, the most perfect like intro day to getting back on a boat and checking out this area. It was like sunny and warm, relatively, and the wind was like perfect, like 10 to 15 knots. And oh, beautiful. So let's go check out the San Juan Islands. Do you want to get the tea in while I'm making this? Ooh, sounds cold. For real? Here you go. Whoa, you were the bomb. Wow, thank you. You ready to go to the beach? Heck yeah, baby!
Are you ready for some fun facts? Yeah. Sucia, sucia, however you say it, is Spanish for dirty or foul, and they named it this because it's covered by really dangerous reefs. Second fact, a couple of years ago, they found a, I think it was a femur bone of a dinosaur that was like a T-Rex kind of a dinosaur. Pretty crazy, huh? That's all I got for now. How cool is that? Really cool. <laughs> the little heads just kept popping up. So after being here in this general area, not necessarily San Juan Islands, but like Washington state along the coast. And after talking to a few people in this area and some of the people from San Juan sailing and some boat neighbors we just met last night, apparently like summer in this area is just beautiful, great weather, pretty dry, not much rain, and uh, but pretty light winds. So in terms of cruising around here, probably not too much sailing, but I'm sure you could get some days. And then as you get into fall, which we're wearing now, it's getting into the rainy season, which obviously just a little more rainy, but it seems like you can still definitely get some nice Nice, beautiful days like we had yesterday and we've been seeing a lot of but the later in the fall you get the more rain you get a little bit colder some low pressure systems coming through so definitely some significant wind at times I'm actually pretty glad we're cruising this area this time of year yeah how because it's just like how we choose to cruise New England like after Labor Day when everybody else is gone like I think that's what we're getting into here as well like this mooring field from what I've read is one of the most popular and it's normally packed and right now there's only a couple other boats there. I love you guys can and see that. And that's what we enjoy. Yeah, yeah. And also the diversity of weather. Like we'll get those beautiful sunny days like yesterday and we'll also get to experience some stronger, more severe weather. Some rain, getting a little drizzle right now and some significant wind. Like the day before we left, it was freaking, it was blowing like crazy. I actually went out with the wing it was like, it was well over 30 knots in the gusts. I don't know, I like that diversity. We don't mind. We go explore no matter what. Wow, look at those trees. Somebody tell us what kind those are. Look at that, look at the color, it's so bright. We're just on the other side of the island, just another little bay over here. Beautiful, like, big cove. So calm and glassy. So neat. All right. One thing I really want to do when we're here is to catch our own shellfish. I haven't gotten our permit yet, our license, because I didn't know if we were going to be able to find them. And I got to re-triple check on seasons and everything. But here would be a perfect spot to get oysters. Look at this guy. I just found them. And there are so many down here. That's where I found them. Um, but there's some there, and people have definitely come in and got some. Cool. I love oysters, and oysters are one thing at like seafood places that are so expensive, but they're so tasty. Life goal is to collect my own. One cool thing about around here is you have to eat them or remove them from the shell when you're on the beach and you have to leave the shell because the shell is home for juvenile oysters. So that's pretty cool. But look at all these tide pools. Oyster. Look at that. It, it feels Whoa. like sandpaper. It looks like sandpaper. Whole different world out here in the Pacific Northwest. Yeah, what the heck? Cool. 
We literally just went from being on the boat to being on the beach to being in the middle of the rainforest. <laughs> <laughs> like, how cool is that? There's like ferns and big trees and rain. <laughs> and, yeah, and there's rain. To the cave. To the caves. <laughs> Look at this. Look how deep these holes are in this rock. Like, Jenny, this could be a little cave for you. You want to go check it out? Should I put her in? I don't know. Is that like us not appreciating them? Okay, there she goes. <laughs> What's in there? It's a cave, just like you like. Pick me yeah. up, Daddy. <laughs> Good girl. Oh, you think these are the caves? Uh -huh. Welcome to the cave. <laughs> Gorgeous. Okay, how about this time? Cue the whales. We made it back and the dinghy is still there. What, what? I'm gonna leave the walking stick for the next person. Step one, put the plug in. Sit, stay. This is Jenny's favorite part of any time she gets wet, basically. Stay. She loves having her face dried off the boat. Chicken noodle soup for lunch. Chicken noodle soup. Chicken noodle really soup. hot. We are currently planning our next move, figuring out where we're gonna go. We got all of our books out. We got our iPad out. And we got the big chart in front of us. Okay, so once again, we're about to move. Here's a look at this chart that they left us. And the reason being is anything that's marked off in red, if we hit it, um, we are not covered by the insurance. Well, not just hit it. Like, the, there, it's boundaries around water areas, so we're not allowed within those boundaries. Like, potentially, you could get a boat in through here or whatever, but they don't want you going. No, the point is, you can go in there, but if you go in there and hit something, you're not covered. Right. We're going to be on the safe side, and we're not going to go in those areas. So we're starting from up here. And our goal is to go to this island, so we're deciding if we're going to go on this side or down here. And then it looks like we're going to go through John's Pass and probably pick up a mooring. You don't want to go on this side here? In here we could, but our next spot is over here, so that kind of puts us closer, but it doesn't matter. One thing we didn't say yesterday is another nice thing about this boat or this charter is that it comes with a mooring permit for all the state park moorings right here, so we don't have to pay for anything. I think usually it's about between 10 and $20 a night, and there's so many state park moorings around here, and we can just pick them up, and we're lucky that we're in the season where there's not that many people out here, so there's actually some open. All right, we definitely got a little bit of breeze outside the anchorage here, and Sierra's raising the mainsail. Try to do a little bit of sailing. Doesn't take much effort. <laughs>
Okay, we are on our way to Stewart Island, and once again, it rained this morning, but now it is absolutely beautiful. What did you say? Yeah, it's sunny, we got a nice little breeze, 15 knots, it's a little over. The sun is a shining, and hopefully the whales are coming to us. I know I have probably said it before, but I think one of my, if not, favorite things about this boat is all of the windows. Like, come on, you get these views everywhere you look. If you're down here, if you're in the bathroom, if you're in the bathroom, if you're in the shower. Like, if you're living on a boat, you might as well have views of the water everywhere you look. And I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, fill us in on how we're sailing. So we got, like, gusty winds coming off this land, this big island over here. So 12 to 16, 17 knots. Just gusting kind of between there. Right now we're at, like, 11 and a half knots. We're, like, close reaching. I'm around six knots or so. Still trying to really see, figure out the instruments and see how accurate everything is. Handling really well. Very, feels super well balanced. <laughs> I mean, we already knew this about this boat's... It's so easy to sail. Like yesterday we were attacking. I was gonna say the only thing that's, that wasn't incredibly easy was just attacking with the screecher. You gotta throw out the screecher and then tack across. And yeah. But besides that, it's been beautiful sailing. sailing around here, huh? It's like a bunch of currents right off this point. Taking turns skippering the boat. Sierra's turned now. She's doing a fantastic job. Better than I was, in fact. Sierra is just piloting us through some narrow cuts into an anchorage here in Stewart Island. The sun is just starting to get low and everything's just lit up. Super calm in here. How was it getting into here? Was it a little sketchy? A little bit, but it's nice knowing that you got like newer trusty engines <laughs> that aren't going to die on you at... <laughs> Not that adrenaline's would die on you at any segment, but... There's a hike here that everyone said we must do that goes to like a lighthouse and I think part of it is climbing up that hill, mountain. Pit. It looked a little too crowded for us back way tucked back in there where it looked like there were moorings, so we're just coming to the outskirts here.
You guys, this place is absolutely mind blowing. The water is so blue, the sky is so red, and it is crazy. And I can't believe we've only heard about this place like so recently. Like, I would say this place is so underrated. Wouldn't you? Like, yeah. how have we never been or like what? You see how blue and yeah. clear the water is? This harbor over here is called Reed Harbor, and right on the other side that I think we came through is called Provost Harbor, I believe. We just took Jetty for a quick bathroom walk, but we'll come back tomorrow and we'll really explore this island a little bit more. So we'll probably go up there, right? We're going to the top of the hill. You all know that we are like the biggest Bahamas fans, but if you're from, I know, we know most of you guys are from the East Coast, and if you've done that area before, get your butts over here because <laughs> you need to. <laughs> we are water people, we are spearfishing people, but we are just having literally the time of our lives, and you could too. Okay, here we go again. Cue the orcas. Really, where are you at? Okay, maybe tomorrow. All right, you guys, tonight for dinner, we're gonna make some burgers. The wind has completely died and it's just glass calm out there and it's pretty dang nice. So we'll take advantage of that outdoor grill. Have a little salad, maybe some, we'll add some bacon to that, bacon cheeseburgers. Oh, baby. And asparagus. All right, before we get our hands insanely dirty, we're gonna start the grill. What do you know our microphone stopped working again surprise surprise but um how good do these burgers look thanks so much for coming with us today and make sure you stay tuned for the next video as we travel to a new island check out more of the san juans and show you more about this really cool boat mm -hmm.